Why are there so many thought systems and belief systems as far as religions go? Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So drop in this morning um, along with everything else. Um, you know, it was, you know, the, the information on why there's so many different um, belief systems, new age, old age, uh, religions. Um, and basically what it is, it's a stepping stone for one um, from the old into the new because as we are new evolving beings, um, that doesn't relate to them anymore. And so they need something different. And so new evolutions of um, religions, thought systems, belief systems uh, turn up. And so like they say, and they're always bashing the new ones. Um, but to say one is better than the other isn't. It's just reformulated into a new way for the understanding of the new beings that are coming in on different levels of awareness, right? And because you can't feed new awareness is old stuff. It's like putting a virus into a com new computer, new system that's being generated. Um, you don't want to put old programs in there. It's kind of like a virus, right? And so it doesn't work very well. And then the other thing is a lot of the ones that were in place were indoctrinated. And so a lot of them were forced upon people and doesn't match with love. And the new beings that are coming in um, are more geared to love, right? And awakened um, than the old ones, right? And so it's the evolution of being because we are evolving back towards love, the higher consciousness, the awareness, the truth of all, all beings, right? And so the existence of who we are um, on that level. Um, and so a lot of learning is taking place. A lot of evolution is taking place, changes, um, things that aren't authentic are moving out. And so the old dominating uh, belief systems are leaving with it. And so the, you know, the old ways Either they're changing with the times or they're going to be going out. So lifting up the consciousness of what those represent um, are going to either be changing or shifting out, right? And so the new um, thoughts, you know, systems, things like that, belief systems are coming in to be a match to the new evolution of beings that are coming in. That's um, being born, you know, the souls that are coming in. So they have an understanding of it because we come in to learn, right? And so this is soul's evolution. A lot of people look at it from the human concept because we are in the human concept, but it's the soul evolution that's actually really going on, right? Because at some point, um, your soul wakes up, right? And then you start actually doing the real school, uh, the timeline, the ten you know, the timeline, the framework of who you truly are as a soul starts becoming more pronounced um, uh, of who you truly are. And so the experience of understanding and knowing who you are becomes made aware of, known. And so like as I shared with the, um, the other video, um, with the first uh, wave of volunteers, like I didn't have a clue, right? I was in my human self having already been on the journey of awakening started and then um, still my human consciousness was where it was evolving to the awakening so my soul and my human self could merge together um, into one so that I can be more in alignment with my soul um, as one and not separate living this life and my soul living this life and then source being like <laughs> all right she'll get it at some point you know <laughs> um, so it's the reestablishing of you to your soul as you're coming back to source and the oneness, right? And so your soul starts waking up. And in that 2016, it was a recognition that I had from my point of view that my soul was like relieved. Um, but hearing that video brought me to that point. And I was going through this whole change of everything where I was having these awareness of my soul what it was doing while I was doing my thing. And it was like, I seemed, I felt like I was the last person to know everything. <laughs> like my soul knew everything. And so it was guiding me doing these things to get me back to the awakening, to bring myself and my soul back together as one. Right. Um, and so with that, it realized, you know, that it didn't miss the awakening and because it doesn't have any time, right. It doesn't live by time. Only the human self. We have the human self, the version. I talked about that before. 
Um, but not to get too far off topic, you know, with that, um, that's what our real journey is. It really has nothing to do with the human. We are the human, but it's not about the human journey. It's about the conscious journey, the soul journey, right? And we get that confused up because we've lived in the human self from birth, right? And so you can't bring all that from the other side in here at a baby. A baby cannot comprehend all that, so we forget. It's not that, um, it's not that, you know, we are separate from it. <clears throat> we forget because we can't comprehend it. And so it's the remembering of who we are when our soul awakens, right? And so the soul brings you back into alignment by the dark night of the soul, the death experiences, the um, shedding of all the stuff. And that's what's happening. Your soul is bringing you back into consciousness awareness, right? And so, but if we fight it, the dark night of the soul and stuff like that, then we're just going against ourselves because it's our soul waking up within us. And we may look at it as um, evil and dark spirits and, you know, things like that, but it's not, right? And so having that awareness, right? It, it, when your soul is waking up, you know, go with it right? And don't fight it, right? A lot of people will, you know, miss it or stop it um, by getting diagnosis. Not that you shouldn't have monitored if it's like serious, right? Um, I'm not saying that, but just be conscious when your soul is waking up within you and trying to bring you back to into alignment, um, remembering who you truly are, because it's the remembrance of who we are. It's not the forgetting because we didn't forget. We just don't remember, <laughs> you know, and there's a difference in that, right? Because it's kind of like, um, you know, the cutting yourself off intentionally and then unintentionally, but you just can't put all the information from the other side as the soul comes and merges with the body. You can't bring all the information in to the human consciousness because it can't comprehend, especially at the baby level. So as you're evolving through the human, um, there's an awakening point that's a set point that your soul has set for you uh, to the awakening. And so you start going through all the things like the dark night of soul and the kundalini and all that. And that's based on your level of awareness and consciousness in your body. And if you're prepared for it, um, a lot of people aren't prepared for it. A lot of people will get it diagnosed because they think it's something wrong with you. Um, because you're having the experiences, you're just waking up to yourself, right? And so don't miss it, you know, just because you have at some point, and a lot, and the other thing too, they want me to share with you, like when you have your midlife crisis, that's what people think it is, but it's actually your soul bringing you into your true self, right? And so people will totally like just change their whole lives. And it's like, oh, I'm just going through the midlife crisis. Because you're holding on to your human self, right? You're not allowing the evolution process to take place and shedding all that so you can come into alignment with your human self, right? And so instead of fighting it, allowing it um, to be present within you to help you evolve because it's about the spiritual evolution, not the human evolution. We just take up this life temporary, periodically, throughout different lifetimes and streams to help the consciousness to evolve to a different level, right? And so you have the different levels of experiences that you've had, so you can create it. And so and when we fight ourselves, because we don't know and don't understand, um, that can halt or stop the process of evolution, right? And so when we do things like that, you know, it, it's, it's not very helpful, <laughs> um, you know, to your consciousness, you know, your soul consciousness. Um, and just going with the flow, you know, don't do anything that's like detrimental or anything like that or horrific, you know, as far as um, hurting yourself or another, but just be, you know, conscious of, okay, my, my soul is starting to awaken, right? And, and just follow along with it because like through my, um, not that I don't fight it now, but like there's certain things that, you know, I still, because I have a saying, right? You still have a say, right? In what happens or what goes down in the experience, if you're aware of it, because a lot of things, you know, it was like my soul's agreeing to, and I'm like, why did you agree to that? <laughs> I didn't agree to that. I'm like, shouldn't you ask me first? And it was always like through this whole process from the 
near-death experience and awaken it was like I was always the last person to know and then it would show up in my reality I'm like when did I make that decision I didn't make that my soul made that decision your soul makes decisions for you at least it did for me and so it was like this dialogue going on in this experience where it was helping me to get back on track right and and for that right and so the awakening up of my my soul um, coming into that moment in the awareness that how I didn't miss the uh, the first wave you know um, of that was really interesting and kind of helps put things in perspective again here I am now what is it 2024 um, still things coming in you know it's an evolutional process of your spiritual journey right it's it, our human self is just a shell doesn't make it limit you know I'm not making it any less than what it is, but I'm just so t- trying to tell you that it plays a role and a part in it when we are of the human conscious because we need it in order to evolve on a spiritual level, which is our soul, right? And so when you bring those two together, you actually have a better understanding of who you are and truly who the self is and who source is, right? It's the divine connection of who you truly are, which is the soul. The human is the shell. Right, which we take up to be part of it, right? Which is like the earth, um, and that was came in um, the other day. Um, <laughs> I have so many uh, notes. It said the seed, which is the soul, the spirit planted in the soil, which is the body, um, comes in. We live in the body until we bud, which is the awakening, uh, and then the human life, right? Which is a fru- fruitation, divine purpose for the experience of it, the soul life's purpose uh, to come into experience because source cannot experience it can only know because it is only being right which is the awareness of itself and so um, it can only be the self which holds space for you to be who you are in your own decision making of the experience and what you're choosing right and so what you get to choose matters however there's other parts and pieces of you that are going on at the same time and that's the shift in conscience from one to the other. And so the human experience is only temporary and it's only temporary for so many lifetimes. From that, you evolve into a higher state of consciousness, which is the awareness of, of itself being from that point of view, which is your soul. So when you bring them together, you're actually evolving into, it's the start of a new evolution into a higher being, right? And so whether that is going to be like an angel or working from the other side or a different level of conscious because you have all these different levels, like a hierarchy, like a tier, not a bad hierarchy, like in religion, you know, where the government, but you have the spiritual hierarchy, right? Which brings us back to, you know, being from that other side, the awareness and knowledge of it from that point of view. And so it all has purpose. Um, your human self, um, the reason why you take it up, and what you're here and why you're here and then when we can shed um the human self the version of it um you know we can start evolving and bringing that together um, in alignment um here right and so can we bring in love too while we're here uh, as we're working and knowing about it right from that point of view so it all has a purpose um it's just having the understanding of how it all works and how it all plays out um from it and so you're you're either seeing from the human consciousness that you're the human self the human void um of consciousness which is source or you are a source uh seeing from that viewpoint which is love the divine connection um from that point and a lot of people who are channeling you know the versions of themselves their higher self their soul their over soul that level of awareness bringing them for the information to help us to rise up Um, into a higher consciousness so like when the churches no longer serves its purpose um, based on where they're teaching from they will shift out it's just that consciousness so that's why we have these new new age um, awareness consciousness you know belief systems coming in it's just a different way of saying it's all the same thing Um, there it's not anything you know different it all has the same baseline it's just said in in a different way for it to evolve for you to understand it as a new being coming in or your awakening right and so from 
the old standpoint into the new one, there's a shift in consciousness on that level, which brings it into another way of being. And so it doesn't make it bad. And a lot of people may bash it, but it's just the way it evolves, right? And so from one conscious to another, which is, you know, more of a love and light um, perspective on certain things. So um, again, you can't put like something that is not love into love which is the direction that we're going and so it's not it's not going to be effective right and so evolving there's a lot of truth in in this the teachings but um, sometimes we put things in that are um you know based on our human self our consciousness our belief systems about who we think that we are um from that point of view uh which isn't true so it's kind of mixed right and they all do that right but all the baselines are the same if you've and I've <clears throat> went and visited a couple different throughout my evolution, you know, um, the parents uh, were Protestant. So as a child went, you know, for a little bit um, as Protestant and then Methodists. Um, I went for about a month and then left. <laughs> um, and then, but all the teachings are the same. The underlining teachings are the same. It's just said in a different way. And, you know, some will maybe light sage while some might take a wafer, some might do this, and some can drink wine, some can only drink juice. It's all different, you know, and so some will chant or sing, <laughs> whatever it is, speak in tongue. But it's basically generally all the same, and it depends on what you are doing with it, of course, um, if it's in alignment with love. But it no longer fits where we're going in the direction that we're going, so it is evolving, right? There's different levels of evolution, of the consciousness that's coming in that is um, creating new spaces because you have to create a ladder and so they tell me this all the time it's like how do you get from one place to the other you create a ladder and so it's the steps from one to the other because a lot of places when they're looking to leave a place they need a place to go and so in consciousness source creates new awarenesses for you to go to shift as you're shifting along the timeline Right? And so it's from here to there. And so it's creating new versions of itself on a higher level of consciousness that's more geared towards love, the direction that we're going. And that's why, you know, there's a lot of change in that. And you can see them trying to grasp onto it by making all these spiritual movies um, and then marketing, you know, because it's, it's a business, right? And they don't want you to leave. But you know what the problem is that it is like you continue to live in that and you don't evolve. Um, so it's the leaving of that what's happening and it's shifting, but it knows people need a place to go, right? To stay connected, to have the teaching, the ongoing evolution of it. And so it creates new versions of the belief systems as far as around religion, right? Which is the new age um, stuff. So, and they're just going to be continuously new ones coming out and evolving. But the truth is, all you have to do is tune into yourself, right? And you'll be connected and not cut off because when you're connected uh, to your soul, your divine being, all the information comes, right? And that's what I'm doing, right? So it can happen for you just as it is for me. Um, just connect to yourself. If you need help with connecting, um, let me know. We can set up a session, get you started on the path. That's what I do teach, you know, with uh, my coaching. I help people get on the path. And so if you're looking uh, for that, so where you can have your own information, you can get your own guidance from your soul, your spirit, your higher consciousness source. If you want that direct connection, we build that with yourself so you can evolve into the next evolution of your life and then wake up from the human construct, then, you know, it, you got to get on the path. And if you're feeling called and guided, book a session. You know, I can help guide you to that. I, I've been through it. I've done it myself. Um, it's not an easy path, but I'm, you know, I'm here for you to help others who are wanting to get on the path. So definitely reach out. If you have any questions, drop them below. Thanks for tuning in. And hopefully that's been helpful for you.